رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما What level of intimacy is allowed or not allowed between a husband and wife during fasting? What is well known among the Muslims and the consensus of all scholars of Islam that having intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan is prohibited. Now, what draws a person closer to intercourse is prohibited as well. But if a person knows himself well and he knows that he has self-control and he would not ever be tempted to fall into intercourse during the daytime of Ramadan, whether it's a he or a she, in this case, there's no problem in any type of intimacy as long as it does not lead to intercourse. So kissing, hugging, being intimate is permissible, providing you have self-control. And this is how Mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, described the Prophet والسلام, of having great self-control and that he would not ever be tempted or fall into such a sinful act during the daytime of Ramadan. And this is why when the companions used to be asked about a man kissing his wife during the daytime of Ramadan, sometimes they would say, there's no problem. And sometimes they would say, this is prohibited. And when their companions asked them, why give two different answers? They said that the first man was an old man. So kissing his wife would not lead to anything dangerous because he's old. He's not hot-blooded. He's not young. While the second person was a young man who was newly wet. So most likely, if he kisses his wife, things would escalate and lead to something that might put him in danger in the sense that he may have intercourse with his wife, which would mean that they would have to pay the expiation. Freeing a slave, if not possible. Fasting two consecutive months, if not possible. Feeding 60 people. One would say, for missing one day, I fast 60 consecutive days with non-stop? This is too much. Well, you don't decide, my friend, whether it's too much or not. You have committed a grave and serious sin and you have to pay the consequences. Now, who dictated that this is the expiation? It's Allah Azza wa Jal. So you don't get to pick and choose. You don't get to say, hmm, feeding 60 people is okay. It only, it's only 10% of my salary. So here we go. No, you have to free a slave. There are no slaves. You have to fast 60 consecutive months. I can't. Why can't you? Uh, it's too difficult. I have meetings. I have to drink cappuccino and I have to do this. This is not a legitimate excuse. Are you chronically ill? No, I'm fit as a horse. You have to fast. Sheikh, 60 days is too much. This is what you have to pay because you have sinned and disobeyed Allah. عز وجل